Betrayed! Absolutely betrayed! That's a good sign. It broke my heart! It's just... That's Sega! A, that's a great sign. Sega, you broke my heart! I wanted this game to be so good. And, well, yeah, it was a little rough around the edges. It certainly was. And I gave you my heart. I gave you my hard-earned money. I gave you a chance. And what do you do? What do you do? You go and get... You go and release this pandering, condescending bullshit! How dare you? How dare you take my heart and stamp it into the ground like this? Absolute shocking betrayal! Mmm, do you feel that? Do you taste that? That is some grade A betrayal. Do you just hate me? Or do you hate those annoying other Sakura Wars fans who wanted something decent? And as a good. Re you call this a reboot? How. C <laughs> Maybe this is your punishment for taking three years to. You know, get more than halfway through the story of Sakura Wars 5. <laughs> I mean, look oh, at all this no. bullshit! This is stupid! They're not even using the mechs! Oh, they're, they're the mechs! Oh, there they're they not are. like you do any unarmed combat! The mech combat is worse than ever! <laughs> you, you, you forego the, the turn based strategy, which was kind of fun, and you replace it with. The weakest version of Dynasty Warriors combat! How dare you! How fucking dare you! And then we haven't even got to the story yet, my god! <sighs> Alright, take a deep <clears throat> breath and introduce okay. this game. Hello everybody, welcome to a new series. This is Sakura Wars 2019, or Sakura Wars 20, or Shin Sakura Wars, or just Sakura Wars for PS4. This is the reboot of the long-running Sakura Wars franchise that has been dormant since 2005, 2010 here in the West. So, um, a as you as you might know, I have some feelings about this game. No, uh, just a couple. Yeah, I've I've got I've got some feelings, but uh, <laughs> I want to say I did try to like this game a lot, but uh, we'll I'll let the opening cutscene play here. Uh with an eight-year-old girl being attacked by a monster. Oh, wow, that thing looks cool. When she is saved by a mysterious swordswoman. That's an appropriate reaction to almost getting killed. Wow, well, I want to be just like that person. I want to be just like the samurai that saved me, named Sakura, apparently. So, betrayal number one. <laughs> I want you to think back of all the characters we've had in Sakura Wars 5, and even, you know, previous Sakura Wars characters. All of them. Every okay. single character that you loved from Sakura Wars 1 through 5. Throw them in the garbage. Were they retconned? Essentially, yes. They had this big demon fight two years after Sucker Wars 5, and they never came back. They were they were taken to this demon realm called Shadow Tokyo, and they've been left there for ten years. Spoilers, friend. I'm getting into the action we're seeing right now. And everybody just kind of forgot about them. It's now ten years later. This is our new guy, uh, Kamiyama. He's, eh, he's, he's alright, I guess. I suppose we should get this out of the way. Why is this happening now when Soccer Wars 5 is still going? Yep, I was just about to get to that. Well, uh, I've been, I've been wanting to do this since it came out, you know. Yeah, because, well, I have feelings about it. And also, I figure before we say goodbye to Sakura Wars, I'd rather go ahead and get through the bad one first so we can get through the good one and just wash our hands of it and end on a high note. And also because we can't meet up. Yeah, that too. And also be refreshing to get through this crap and then come back and go, ah, warm, familiar, good Sakura Wars, ah, yes. So if you had to do a comparison between this one and five, 
What's the what are we talking about for length? Um they about the same is this one shorter? There there's not a huge gap in length, but this one feels longer. So, weird thing here, sometimes they have these fully motion acted and fully lip synced cutscenes, but they don't do the voices. Strange flex, but we'll run with it. Ooh, I like that shine. Yeah, uh, here, here's, a, here's a really good thing about this game. It looks fantastic. The textures and places, I mean. Yeah, it seems it got the aesthetic down. This is using the Hedgehog t Engine 2, which is used Ooh. in Sonic Forces, and the same people who developed that game developed this game. Oh, good! I can't wait for an Edgelord to be the main villain. This is the first time that Sega owns all of Sakura Wars because, you know, Overworks, a company that's not around anymore, made the original Sakura Wars 1 through four, one through 5, and also Red Entertainment made that too. But now, for the first time, Sega owns everything. So this is purely a Sega venture. There are no outside companies helping out with this game. Mm, well, nope. It's just Sega and Sonic Team coming together to do a... To do a Sucker Wars reboot. And instead of Kosuke Fujishima, a guy, you know, one of my favorite uh, manga artists out there, they get the guy who did Bleach, Tite Kubo, which. Mm. Eh, eh, eh. You got some pedigree eh. there. I mean, there's. Eh. It, it just uh, depends on whether you're seeing it through the manga's eyes or through the anime's eyes. I still think Bleach looks okay for 2006. I have no I have no opinion of Bleach. I mean, I don't love it like Dragon Ball. I don't hate it like Naruto. It's just kind of in the middle. And you know what? A C-plus is good enough for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about the ratings people gave this. Wait, did I literally read Damn Demons, those monsters? Yep. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Because demons are still attacking, and now they're counting on the help, on the help of the Shanghai Combat Review. Oh, the the alternate uh, Shanghai, whatever. And we combat are here review. to basically uh, work with the Tokyo Combat Review. The Grand Imperial Theater is where they're stationed, obviously. Did every Sakura Wars have a theater? Yes. So that was just the aesthetic? Yes. Okay. They put on grand plays, and then they uh, fight grand battles. Because they're glamorous and high-life socialites and awesome like that. See, that just seems... Uh, that just seems like an interesting setup where, you know, you're halfway through performing Phantom of the Opera, and then a giant mech busts through your theater. I mean, uh, w when, when else can you say that for a game setting? Oh. There's one guy in the green kimono. Two guys with the green kimono and the hat. All of them have the same face. Look at the two guys next to the bench. Those are the same models, uh, I think. Yeah, they do. They do. They're just same <laughs> models, different clothes. Very similar. Mm. You got one guy fading out of existence on the right there. A lot of a people bit. fading out of existence. What's going on? Uh, the PS4 can't handle so much anime. Ah! Hey, I'm on the pro. <laughs> It can't even handle that? But then again, that's just a draw distance thing. I'm not gonna bitch about yeah. characters loading. Wait a minute. What's happening? Ah! <laughs> the Monster Hunter crossover we never expected! Oh god, Ridley, what did you do to yourself? Not actual gameplay footage. This is how a Sakura Wars character gets into Smash Ultimate. Kamiyama joins the fight. A uh, him? Really? Why? <laughs> Sakura Wars is a long-going series that da 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 and that's why Nintendo decided to bring him to Smash. The games that were never on Switch. More like Sakurai Wars. <laughs> I'd be down for that. Oh wait. So then, Different who's gonna save us? <gasps> Oh! 
Wait a minute! How did that thing get in here without busting open the door? Kind of suspicious, don't you think? Uh, and now they're gone. Cool. Whew, that, that was uh, some weird hallucinations. Oh, am I still in the train station or what? That's the Shanghai Combat Review. That's basically what they do everywhere all over Tokyo. Do you think this is just one big marketing ploy? Like, come join the, the Combat Review. Fight monsters like this. I don't know what they'd be marketing, but sure. Well, it's kind of a, like a recruitment effort. See, right. I, love, I, I love the buildings. The the, the, the backdrops in this game are yeah. top notch. Yeah, the lighting that the, the lighting that they had, like you know the the way the light shines off the bricks. And the, the roof tiles is oh beautiful, fantastic. I would love to kill every person in this city and just walk around and just look at everything. And go ah. Oh, oh, yeah. As r blood rains from the sky. Can we turn the bloom down just a tad? Maybe a little extra on the bloom, but you know I'll take it. It's okay. Maybe it's because she is so bright and cheery, she is actually creating more sunlight. So, um, this here is Sakura Amamiya. A main character. Sakura Amamiya. Sakura Amamiya. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Sakura Amamiya. Amamiya Sakura-chan. What can awesome. I say about her? What can I say about her, huh? Hey. Well, let's see what you have to say about her. I have a strange feeling if I was controlling this game, we'd get the worst ending. And I'd be okay with that. <laughs> Let me put it this way. <laughs> I loathe this character. Uh, oh, you're gonna I, leave it to fate? I fucking loathe Sakura Amamiya. She is a terrible character, she's annoying, and the game focuses way too much on her! Well, her name's in the title. It's her war. She's gonna go on the front lines and die. Oh, and here's the series continuity for fans. The only returning Sakura Wars character, the only one, is Sumire. Oh. She's not in five, is she? No, she's not in five. I think she's in one and either two or three. They famously retired the character in like 2002. That, you know, they had her, she started losing her, pow her uh, spiritual powers and so she uh, just quietly left the scene, and yeah, yeah, but here she's back as the administrator of the Tokyo Combat Review! Cool. I like continuity for games I haven't played. I like her a hell of a lot better than Sagara. <laughs> we'll, get into uh, why she, we'll, we'll get into her terribleness as the story goes on, because she just gets worse and 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 worse. And worse. I have a feeling she'll be the main focus throughout this entire game. Doesn't matter who you choose, it's always her. Oh, no. We'll get there, though. We'll get there. Yeah, top of the class. I'm the best. Hell yeah. God, what is Doom Slayer doing at this point in time? Well, it's 1940, so... It's ah. not even alive yet. Yeah, he's not here yet. <laughs> Although I will say, as soon as he goes out that door and the regular uh, Doom Eternal theme starts playing, I'll be like, yeah! So, now we're gonna talk more about the Imperial Combat Review, the 
Tokyo uh, the Flower Division. Ugh. There is no way to get past this. The Flower Division is made for all the Girl Scouts we hire. They, they're, you should see them in their little tiny mechs selling cookies at the grocery store. Yeah, I will say that this cast of characters is probably the worst. Mm, as to be expected with reboots. Oh, that's, that's not so, I mean. Now, just because it's a reboot doesn't mean it's automatically bad. That is, right. not, that is not the case. Strike you, that from your mind. Uh, I, I will. I, I take it back. The one thing I have to ask, though, you and I have a very distinct definition of characters who are bad. Now, I have to ask, are they just really tropey, or what sets you off about them? So, I enjoy, quote-unquote, bad characters. Like, uh, Akiho Senomiya in Robotics Notes. You don't need to look her up or anything, but she is a brash, stubborn, uh, overly eccentric character, and you know she all she always is set in her ways, and that doesn't really help the plot too much. You know, uh, you know, it's like, hey, we have we have a great deal. We can give you a lot of money, so that way you can build us a giant robot in our design. And she's like, no, it has to be this. Although, you know, it has to be this. So no deal. But that works for, like, creating, you know, friction and stuff like that. These characters are... <laughs> they're wishy-washy. They don't have a lot of good defining uh, motivations. It's, and and they're tropic as hell, so... All right. They're poorly written characters and they're tropic characters as well, so we're in, we're in for a treat. There is, one, there is only one character, though, who is actually decent. Oh, good. I'm, f I'm glad you finally came around to Sakura being good. Ah-ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> you are a funny guy. Oh, I'm so glad we're keeping up with the Sega tradition of creating really badly written characters. What about Yakuza? They've got a lot of great characters in there. Okay, that's an exception. I was mainly meeting the uh, Sonic franchise. I thought Shadow was great at written. Then they went overboard with his own game, and oh, okay. God, he was so poorly written, I can't even remember the main antagonist from Forces. Infinite! That, thank you! God! And we didn't even do that series that long ago! And I still forgot what it's called! I just called him Edgelord! So we are now captain of the combat review. Oh! Just newly appointed. And our first mission is to win the Combat Review World Games. <laughs> it starts with a tournament arc! <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh no, Niskel, my dear friend. If you think it starts with a tournament arc, you're thinking too small. It's nothing but a tournament arc! This game just loves the Combat Review World Games. <laughs> it loves it to death. Oh, yay! Yay! We're ticking all the piss-off UDJ boxes today, boys and girls. See, I don't know why I keep buying anime games. <laughs> every so often I, th I think, oh, this one looks like it'll be dark and it'll no! be... You no! Know, It'll, it'll be mature and refined enough for my taste. <laughs> and then I play oh. it. God. <laughs> oh, you fool. You keep trying. I succeed sometimes. Sometimes I do. Really. Like, I succeeded with, you know, Science Adventure and Robotics Notes and all that, but then I fail with Sakura Wars. Well, there's the big difference. You like reading good visual novels. Oh, I have good taste, that's what. Mm-hmm. You bought Soccer Wars. <sighs> because I bought Soccer Wars 5! But then again, I have absolutely no room to talk when it comes to buying games. So this is our uh, steam-powered oh. cell phone. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Quick, submerge your phone to recharge it! Okay. My, pa my pants are getting hot. 
My pocket is just steaming. God. <laughs> Doctor, I have a, a rectangular burn on my thigh. Is, th is there anything uh, having to do with that? Basically, it's how can we do a smartphone interface right. in 1940? Yeah. Well, here's how we do it. Well, Sakura Wars is already filled with anachronism, so what's one more? Bromides! Bromides. What? Yes. So, as you can imagine, <laughs> there are pictures of all the lovely ladies of the Sakura Wars <gasps> franchise. Oh, all no. six games, my oh, friend. No. <laughs> Why are they called? <laughs> some of them we buy from the store. Some of them we unlock through the combat. Some of them we just find lying around. And I will be... And, uh... To make this a guide sort of let's play, I will be finding all the bromides that are lying around, at least. <laughs> I mean, at this point, might as well just call them homies. Why not? Bromides? Bromides. Bromides! D does that actually have a different definition, or have we been using it wrong the entire time? Well, bro bromide is a chemical, too, so... Okay. Maybe it's bromides, I don't know. Yep, used in chemistry. A bromide is a chemical compound containing a bromide ion, or lingand. This is a bromine atom with a ionic charge of negative one. So even the game knows that all these girls are negatives. I didn't mean to say thick, Oni-chan. I, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. So anyway, what, what were you saying? I was trying to eavesdrop. <laughs> I get a feeling this girl might be a bit of an idiot. She just might be. Oh my god, she sounds like every single goofy girl in any anime ever. Let's see... And what? yet the game is in love with her. Cause she's so cute. I mean, just look at her. Oh. Wait, really? Okay, I want this. to I want to maintain the casual nature of our relationship, so that way I can jump your bones later. Alright, get this, bro. Bromide. Yeah. Yeah. Sakura Amamiya is voiced by Ayane Sakura. Mm-hmm. So, perfect. Let's see. Lot like it feels, of anime like it, credits. It, it feels like the Paper Mario kind of reboot. It's like, oh, well, oh, what's that Sakura Wars? So, okay, so it's all about this girl Sakura, right? Let's see, she's been well, in... Pa paper Mario, it's all about paper. Okay, paper stationary. Go for it. <laughs> Draw something with a pencil. There we go. New item. Bang Dream. The God of High School. My Teen Romantic Comedy Snafu. Soccer Wars The Animation from 2020. Oh, she's Uraraka in My Hero Academia. Cool. You just said a bunch of foreign shit. I didn't understand a word of that. I knew it. She's in Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Sharp ah! MP. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, shit! Okay, dream come true, whatever. You know, being That's an actress where I on recognize stage. her! Oh, she's Ellie's sister from Love Live. That's adorable. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> this is tailor made for your kind. She's an idol, motherfucker! <laughs> Alright, oh, into hilarious. the Grand Imperial Theater! The, the stage where dreams uh, are made. Wait, I thought we were gonna go through the door. Well, now they, they 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 want us to to move around, I guess, because there's objectives up there, and yeah, if we're not sure what to do. Just well, well, uh, th there is a bromide in the hallway outside of Sumire's office, so. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, do that first. So, uh, real, you know, real quick, here's the map. You know. Oh, you know, that's actually that. cool. I yeah. like that. This is handy. You know, your your logbook, and this is where you get all <laughs> your bromides. Jesus Christ! So oh, go back, run there, and... No. Oh, no. You have, okay. to go. you have to go through the door. No. How okay, am I we'll going to collect it. waifu pictures? We'll get it later, then. 
We'll get it later. Damn it. Hello, I'm here to audition for Waifu Quest. That's a extremely luxurious theater. Th this room looks incredible. I it love does. it. It's warm, it's inviting, it looks it looks regal, and it just looks like the time. This looks like a 1940s style musical stage. It looks incredible. Now let's have some anime bullshit. Yes! Give me all the anime bullshit. Oh wait, you could investigate something. Yeah, there we go. Was, what was that? Was was it Wow! There are thieves here! Wow! <laughs> Chairs? What? There are seats in a theater. What are the odds? Oh, I just thought of a scenario. I bet you anything we're going to Romeo and Juliet Sakura. Hell yeah. I mean, look at the scuff marks on the stage. Oh, wow. That's a nice detail. And that was my favorite part of Sonic Forces. How great everything looked. Then you play it. Well, sorry about that. Yep. Show me your acting chops in this cutscene that isn't voiced. All right, acting chops. Hiya, 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 hiya. <laughs> oh, she, she is planning playing Sonic Forces. <laughs> Jumping from rail to rail, falling off immediately. Why is this not voiced? It's really distracting. I, I'm engrossed. I wish it was voiced. So I'm thinking, okay, I'll say I wasn't fooling around, you know, to play along with her obviously acting shtick. And then he takes it too personally. Here's another problem with the game. You're not really, because you can't see his face like you could with uh, Soccer Wars 5, for instance, you can't really tell the tone of what's being said. Oh my God, you're right. Oh no! So now it's like difficult. Like he, he fell for it. I didn't fall for it. She's obviously that she's, that she's acting, but she's being passive aggressive about it because she decides to act about how she really feels. Oh, ten years without a letter? How could you do this? And you just show up out of the blue? Whatever. And hey, here we go. Hatsuho no, let's check is mark. the favorite uh, of for for me. For you? She's great. She seems like the archetype that's, uh, not rough in the way that you're thinking, kind of rough with the main character, you know, like one of the boys. Yeah, so probably the most like a person. <laughs> I mean, I mean, look at this. You know, Hatsuha Shinonome, good to meet you, Captain. Well, okay, I don't have to think too hard. Seiju Kamamiya, the pleasure's all mine. Give him shit. Give him shit. No, just, just, just hey, all right. You, oh. you got, you, you have manners. I like that. Okay, fine. You don't need to be, you know, a bitch about everything. Hatsuho, what's up? Fucking Hatsuho is great. I love Hatsuho. And of course the game doesn't give two shits about her. <laughs> oh no, I will. I, excuse me, we will. We will give you all the attention in the world, Hatsuho. Oh, right, and we need to uh, mark something off the trope sheet. Redhead with big tits. Got it. All right. But now we're done with her. Let's keep walking with Sakura. <laughs> Met her for all of 15 seconds. That's all we're going to get of her for this episode. You know, I'm all for a character introduction chapter. <laughs> but come on. Let's, let's get this moving a bit faster, please. You know, it'd be better if I could just go around and do stuff on my own without her dragging at my heels at every step. But she's so cute. Look at her. Look at her talk. Except she's not talking. I see through that cuteness. I see the shrewd woman underneath. See, I don't understand the the not VA parts. Why aren't I don't, they I don't actually either. speaking? I, I really don't get it either. It makes I mean, no sense. I mean, are we supposed to overdub this? D uh, d do, do we have to? I mean, if you want, that could be a shtick for later, but th this is boring. 
<laughs> you actually took the time to animate this. Give them voices. Another thing about this, it might be because that's how old Japanese was, but... Uh, the, the, uh... The kana at the bottom of that, uh, that poster says... Well, basically it's Momotaro backwards. Oh. It reads right to left instead of left to right, which is how they used to do it in the old times, so I guess that makes sense. But it was really jarring at first, like, wait a minute, hang on, this isn't right. You know, the next time one of those scenes comes up where it's voiceless, please put a black and white filter on it, add some static effects, and make it a silent film. Fine. Just once. Don't want to give you too much work. So, can we mess around with the with the gift shop girl? No. Really? That was like one of that's one of my favorite parts of doing Soccer Wars 5 is see how much I can get the store owner to hate me. She I mean we can interact with her, but we can't like influence her decisions too much. Damn it. Take out all the fun, Sega. Well, you know how it is. For every Yakuza 7, they have to have a Sakura Wars. <laughs> you know, every, I'm so happy... For, for every Puyo Puyo Tetris, we have to have a Sonic Forces, you know what I mean? I'm so glad that the next-gen systems have a good Sega game and a bad Sega game. <laughs> well, then again, Sega hasn't released anything for... PS5 and Series X, besides Yakuza 7. So we'll see. Uh, Puyo Tetris 2 is on PS5. What is? Puyo Tetris 2. Oh, that's right! Okay, well, they got two winners. So she's how we get uh, a good chunk of side quests, and most of the bromides we'll be getting of the original five girls. Wait, is she wearing Heelys? Yes. Like, 40s Heelys? Yes. Hell yeah! Carriage wheeled, getta <laughs> wheelies. <laughs> That's actually cool! I wanna get me some 40s Heelys, are you kidding me? Yes, leave us alone. Get out of here. LEAVE! <laughs> Why are we both starting the new year with games we hate? Well, I'll get the bad shit out of the way first, I guess. That's true. To make way for the grandiose hashtag crispy content for 2021. Well, and just like that, we're out of time. That took too damn long to just right. walk into the theater and introduce ourselves and get our new job. So, next time on, what should I call this, New Soccer Wars? Yeah, sure, New Soccer Wars sounds good. Next time on New Soccer Wars, we're going to look around the theater a bit more and hopefully <gasps> meet some other party members. Yes, you can jitterwalk. Yes. Oh, can you spin? Can you do the infinite spin? Not very well, but it's going to blow off steam. See you next time. <laughs>